Hello. So this is completely random, but I uh, thought I'd share it with you. Uh, I've mentioned in the past a few times about tension on the foil to reach to 20k. Uh, like a year or one and a half ago, I don't know. After a while I wasn't so sure because I had some small panels. Uh, for instance these, uh, these ones, you know. They're rather small and even with slight tension or no tension at all, it was quite easy to reach to reach to 20k. Um, so there were several things that make the response look ragged. First of one of is uh, one of them is actually a, a line source that is not actually a true line source. Uh, with a point source, you get usually a flatter response, or you have a line a real line source from you know from the bottom of your room to the ceiling then it will behave uh, much better but uh, something in between uh, not so much but this video is purely about reaching to 20k usually and me as well first thing comes to mind is weight of the conductor and the foil and such that it can move even 20,000 times a second so weight is an issue that's for sure uh, also in this case, but uh, I'll show you what's happening and maybe what I think is happening and as well that maybe the things I said a year ago about tension on the foil to reach higher still is true. <laughs> still is true, although I doubt, I doubt it myself a little bit there because my other panels did perfectly fine without an uh, enormous amount of tension, but I think for this wire kind of magnapan setups, there are some different rules. Mainly because the distance from wire to wire is pretty big. So the the thing that's actually drive this thin mylar is rather well far apart. But it's about the tweeter wires here. Although they sound perfectly fine. I know they drop off quite early, way too early, in my opinion. And no one ever complains, but still, I want to know why it's happening. And maybe, because I like to do things, well, I'm not sure proper, but I want them to be proper before I sell them, I might redo the whole panel. Really not looking forward to that one. But I might. <laughs> getting sick by thinking of it. No, not really, but it's not fun to redo something that was completed already. Building a new one is, you know, it's I'm more anxious to build a new one instead of redoing this one. But yeah, that's uh, why I have so much stuff, I guess. So, this is the setup. I'm measuring the tweeter and uh, yeah, you don't measure a planner uh, speaker like this, but that's not the point. I just want to concentrate on the tweeter and uh, have a, as good picture as we can get. So we go to the laptop. I'm going to use a pink noise, but I'm going to limit it. It's going to play from 10k and up because I don't need the other stuff. I'm not interested in the other stuff. And I got an uh, RTA going to see what's happening. So uh, there we go. Let me see if this red line is visible. I guess so. Maybe I can move you closer or the laptop closer. So it kind of plummets at 15k. 14,6k. Dot 6k. So not ideal, if you ask me. Now what I'm gonna do? That's too dark, of course. If I move my hand here, something will change if I push it. But that's not the point. What I want to know is what happens if I try to stretch it this way so I stretch up this not by much because I cannot you know I cannot stretch very well like this if I only do this 
it's mostly the resonance that change and, and also the tension a little bit. But more the resonance and only the resonance because it's only a smaller piece of foil that is moving because I, uh, well, cannot move under my hand of course. So the resonance changes, but it's not the resonance that changes stuff in this case, but it's purely the tension on the foil. So you can have a huge panel with a resonance of 20 Hz, but if it, it's tensioned really hard because the panel is so big, then the result will be the same as I will show you right now. Kind of weird story, huh? I don't know. Think of drums. A small drum with the same tension has a higher resonance than a big drum with the same tension. But the tension is the same. Okay. So nice that I explained all this with the, the incredible hissing in the background. Not ideal. So I am going to do this thing and pushing on it, or pulling on it sort of. Can hardly pull of course. but. Even a tiny change will give a result. So, put my hand on the foil right now, and you see it shift a little bit. And now I'm gonna try and pull it towards me. I cannot pull more than this, I think. But that went from there to there. Which is almost sixteen and a half. So yeah, by only doing this by hand, I increased uh, the upper frequency by two k, and I might be able to show you what's happening in the measurement. Yeah, this is a better picture here. You can see it quite clearly what is happening. So it goes up, 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 and then an incredibly nice breakdown. Here it plummets and then it comes back and does something again. This is the breakup I think of the foil itself. So when you got two wires and they move backwards and forwards and in between there is mylar that is kind of trying to following what the, what the wires are doing and I think there is a moment where it doesn't follow correctly and creates uh, like sort of anti, anti out of phase material which creates this insanely big dip and um, what I showed you when I pull on it and I cannot make a measurement of it because I am the one pulling Oh, I might actually. Shall I do it? Yeah, why not? I can do that with some delay. Let's do that. So let's do one without me pulling. So, just to be sure, to, maybe I moved the mic, so gonna redo it gonna give it a four seconds delay so I can get over there and pull on it we're trying to okay go 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 of course the low end changes as well because uh, I am pushing on the foil as well but you can see clearly here already what is happening So this drop off, it, it shifts upwards, as you can see. And you can imagine if the foil is, is stretched harder, it's more likely to follow these wires. If it, if it is really loosey floppy, uh, this problem would be like here already, or earlier. For instance, the base wires do the same. And it might actually be this one here, I'm not sure might be I have to take a look at that and maybe fix it in the next generation or when I redo this panel or increase complete tension and the problem will shift 
uh, because the space in between the wires on the big magnets are is bigger of course uh, you have this problem much earlier in the frequency but on the other hand it's the base driver so it shouldn't do too much in this region here so uh, but it might be too low that it's still picking up it is filtered down but not maybe not completely so you might see still this problem occurring this looks all terrible by the way but actually um, it's not that bad as it looks right now that's also not the point of the video the point of the video actually is this change which is fun to see and it does this theory holds up for this kind of loudspeaker but it doesn't for this kind of loudspeaker and my guess is because well spacings in between wires is so small that this problem it, it might be there but it's way up higher outside my measuring range maybe even so yeah although you do if you make this part here too big you will have that problem but only here instead of all over the thing so yeah some ideas so well, what happened to the complete uh, resonance yeah well resonance goes up as well but not as much as you would think because I only did of course a small part of the membrane uh, near the part of the tweeter that I measured. If you would do the same for the whole panel, um, this might shift also a little bit more and the resonance would go up as well. I think I mentioned once that I wanted to make the panel like two centimeters wider so I have a lower resonance and then increase the foil tension to get rid of this problem and you will end up with the same resonance but with more tension on the foil to mitigate these problems. So yeah, just a small video about something I've probably said a gazillion times already but I never actually uh, think I showed it and today it kind of surprised me as well that it worked so well with only just uh, trying to pull on it which is impossible so I might have to redo these and I was afraid of that already half a year ago maybe I don't see you no probably not so I would say uh, happy new year uh, in advance and uh, don't blow off your fingers and such and uh, well see you uh, next year